check it out. Check it out. So, the most fascinating story in all this, if you ask me, it's not the story of 6 9 We all know he's a famous musician. Now he's caught up in some mess. Now he's telling. He's probably going to come home, probably going to still have a good career. That's not the fascinating part of it at all. The fascinating part of it to me and the parts we don't really see is gang turmoil where you see one guy trying to prove to the rest of the gang he's tougher than another guy. Who am I talking about? Harv and Shoddy. They were basically going back and forth. You also get to kind of find out why Shoddy gained his name Shotty, okay? If your name is Shotty, come on, man. It's self-explanatory. The explanation is in the fucking name. Now, while all this is going on, and this has been happening for years, because apparently if we go back, and I'm going to get a little bit more in depth. I'm sorry for lack of videos. Um, basically, Shotty was known as, quote-unquote, the shooter. And when they were dealing drugs back in, like, 2014, this is what another informant, like, testified. When they were dealing drugs back then, Pretty much, Shadi wasn't the guy that you give the drugs to. You would actually just have him protect people, okay? So he's been known as a protector, not like a drug dealer. Now he runs into 6ix9ine. 6ix9ine is a guy making a lot of money. Because 6ix9ine is really looking for the protector, not necessarily just a big homie or a guy with just like a, 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 a title within the gang. He's looking for the protector. He gravitates towards Shadi. Other people don't like it, and other people are upset. Now... Couple of things that we found out in court today. Shadi is on wiretap admitting, admitting when, while he's basically trying to convince another gang member that he's tougher or he put in more work or he earned his stripes more than someone else, he is on tape admitting that he shot five people in one night. Okay? Now, if you don't know, this was recorded when. The driver, who was not only like had his car bugged, but maybe he had wore a wire, he recorded Shadi going on a rant after 6 9 got kidnapped. And in this rant, basically Shadi's driving around and Shadi's like, fuck that. We gotta go kill somebody. I'm driving around with a semi automatic rifle. And in the recording, you hear Shadi say he shot five people. In one night for Mel Murder, said he earned his stripes. Now, you got to understand the mindset here. He's basically saying, if someone's going to kidnap, and really, if you look at the grand scheme of things, they kidnap 6 9 not just for the money, but to send a message to Shadi, okay? Because they were beefing back and forth. So, in reality, Shadi's saying, what the fuck? Niggas is trying to really fuck with you and fuck with me when I really put in stripes. I shot five people in a night. For, and, and the person he mentions, that's supposedly like his big homie, right? Now, again, and keep in mind how much the recordings are there. They even continue to say, yo, there was the other guy who's the alleged kidnapper. He was bragging about like having some of the chains still and even trying to sell it. And also, you hear the infamous line that, yo, listen, Nuke said you either got to be the shooter or the grinder selling drugs. You can't be both at once. And again, it was a lot of problems within the gang that they didn't know. And it was hard to identify who is what. And also because who put in what work, they deserve what. Okay? If you was holding down 6 9 in LA, if you held down 6 9 in Houston or wherever the else the fuck you went, you then want to feel compensated. You want to feel like you're the closest person to him. Now, Shadi at first didn't go to the L.A. trip. He didn't go to uh, Houston because he had other charges going on. So, yeah, there is going to be a turmoil of, yo, why he getting paid more when I'm actually out here putting in work? Now, of course, you can imagine just like psychologically, Shadi now feels like, oh, word, that's how y'all looking at it? I'm about to go crazy for my youngin just to show him that I got his back even more. Again, it's really a predatorial system, and it's really unfortunate because a lot of people, they be acting like gangs are the most organized things. This is the exact thing that goes down in the gang, right? Niggas fighting for power. Niggas trying to kill each other for power. And no matter if they call themselves brothers or this is a brotherhood, clearly there's a lot of jealousy, envy, shit-talking, backstabbing, and shit when you see time right now where one of the suppliers of the gang for drugs is testifying against the gang. It's not only 6 9 It's more mad at the niggas. I told you, I'm mad at the niggas testifying. You realize, I don't know if this gang shit is really all it's like hyped up to be. You guys get in the comments though. Make sure you guys like them, subscribe to Watch Academics. Come on.